Alright, hey you guys, so, um, this is kind of a weird angle, but I feel like the lighting is pretty good. So, anyway, I'm going to be trying on different lipsticks today, and all of these are older, except for my Revlon Lip Butter right here. Um, it is in the shade Candy Apple, and so yeah, it's just a very bright crimson, or not crimson, I don't know, whatever, crimsonish scarlet, more scarlet red. Um, so just want to try on some different lipsticks and stuff. And I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. So, well, I doubt one little square will be enough. But anyway, I'll go with the bright red first. Just bright crimson red. Alright, well, I'm not very good at applying lipstick, just saying. Um, and my lips are kind of chapped right now. So it's not going to look the best. So that's obviously very, this shade doesn't really look great on me, um, it looks a little clown like, but I'm going to touch it up and fix it a bit, and then I'll show you guys. Alright, so that's what it looks like, and I have or ignore my acne. Um, so I feel like this color on me looks kind of Ronald McDonald anyway, but see with this blue. color but it's like a berry ish color and I've I think it's this one I've worn it before and I like how it looks on my lips or on me I don't know okay well that was a very rough application but see I feel like it just looks it's still kind of red let me clean this up um Anyway, it's still pretty red, or in that red family, um, but it has more of a, like, berry tone to it, and it looks better. Okay, well, yeah, I have, like, weird corners in my mouth. So on to the third color. This one is by Naturalistics, and that's all the information I have. So this one is more purpley, and uh, yeah. So I'll just put this on. Hang on. Okay, let me clean this one up. Alright, so this is way more pinky purple, but I like it. Um, I think it's more of a respectable color, and um, I don't know, I just really like it, uh, actually. It surprised me. So I might go with this. Yeah, and this is, once again, what it looks like. So that one and now I'm just gonna wipe that off real quick. Um, I'm using Nivea A Kiss of Mint and Minerals Refreshing Lip Care um, Chapstick just for uh, like moisturizing my lips and helping get the, the lipstick off so you know. Okay now my last one is in Daring Young Red and um, we'll see how this goes because this has been murdered pretty much it looks like. Um, but I'm going to try it, and it looks very like, if you've ever watched Gilmore Girls, or if you watch Gilmore Girls, you did anyway, um, there's this episode 
where uh, um, the grandmother Emily wore Lorelai's lipstick because they were at some hotel or something, I don't know. Anyway, I'm pretty sure it was called Vicious Trollop. <laughs> That's what this reminds me of. Just saying. Okay. Hang on. I need to put some more chapstick on. <laughs> okay, so that's this blue stuff. Now I'm going to put the lipstick on. Okay, so I'm just going to swatch this on my hand right now because this is what the um, Daring Young Red one looks like, which reminds me of Vicious Trello, just that name. Um, and then this is Candy Apple. It's the Revlon Lip Butter. But, yeah, hang on. Give me a So, the first one I wore second one, the third one, and the fourth one, which I'm wearing right now. So that's what all of those look like. I just said this one is more pinky. Um, I'll try and get the best lighting for that. Okay, well. Anyway. I really like this last one, though. It's not bad. So I will do this again with my dress on sometime, and, um, Maybe even use or do some other lipsticks. Uh, I just got my hair and my lipsticks. Um, but anyway, I'm really happy with this last one. It's a lot better for me, I think, for my coloring. And um, it's a little less in your face. It's a little less vibrant, a little less Ronald McDonald. It's really, like, I like this. Thank you, Grandma, for getting this for me. This is actually, she didn't get it for me, um, wow, that's really awkward now, because this is for my grandma who passed away a long time ago when I was, like, seven, and now I'm 16, so thank you, grandma, rest in peace, her birthday was on Valentine's Day, so love you, even though I hardly knew you, um, to be honest. Wow, this is getting too deep, gotta go, bye.